The Crosby Ironton area made some big announcements about some exciting plans coming this year at their annual meeting Thursday night. Our Logan Gay attended the meeting and has more. 2016 was a big year for the Kaina Lakes mountain bike crew. We uh, were successful in raising $670,000 for trail expansion. We were faced with numerous weather incidents which really went after our trails and our volunteer body came together and brought our trails back into alignment and we were able to speak across the world on behalf of Cuyuna. And with a new bonding bill on the table, the crew has a lot to look forward to in 2017. And we just had a bill introduced in the Senate by Senator Rood, and we had a bill introduced in the House by um, House Representative Lewick in Heitzman, and that is again to go after the $3.6 million to finish the master vision of Cuyuna, which that will give us in total 75 miles of trail without, it would provide three days of riding without repeating a trail. And it doesn't stop there. The growth the Red family has experienced has trickled down to the community. Coming soon, the Crosby Ironton area will be getting new trails and restaurants. Prairie Bay's Iron Range will be coming online. There's a happy otter trailside pizza kitchen that's working forward and there's just new trails. But none of this could be possible if it wasn't for the hard work of the Cuyuna Lakes mountain bike crew. I'm excited. It sounds like a lot of work, so when I said I hope we can double volunteer hours, I r really hope we can because it's, uh, it's going to take an army. The secret of Cuyuna is just so many different people, businesses, organizations, partners, all coming together for a common cause of being an international year-round family cycling destination. In Crosby, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. The Cuyuna Lakes mountain bike crew plans to add two trails in the next year, and we should point out that is Logan Gay's last story with us here at Lakeland News. Logan has been with us for more than a year now, done a tremendous job, and a very valuable member of our news crew. She's moving on to a new job in Illinois. We wish her the best, and she will certainly be missed here at Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.